Hey. I'm so glad you're here. I, I need to talk to you. I, I, I need to explain. Well, I don't need to hear what you have to say. I came to speak to my brother. Excuse me. Oh, please. I know you're hurt. Wow. Well, that's an incredible insight. Okay. And when you get hurt, this is what you do. You put no, up walls. No, 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 no. I am way past the putting up wall stage. You have trampled on my heart for the last time. You and the rest of those lousy Spaldings can all go straight to jail. Or hell, for all I care. What the hell are you doing? Michael. Give me that. Listen, we're in trouble, Michael. We said, back up. What else did you take? Nothing, Michael. Just let us go. It was a really big mistake. There's anything missing. Get out. What? Get out. Come on, get out. Wait a minute, wait a minute. They're gonna call the cops on us or anything? Let's just go, please. Second, Rob, don't you think it's a little odd that Michael looks guiltier than we do? Now, why is that, Michael? Buzz! Buzz! Hey, what, 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 what is this all about? I mean, after the phone call, I was a little... Shocked. Uh, well, puzzled, anyway. Well, hang on to your hat, because what I'm gonna tell you is gonna blow you clean away. What? 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 I just hope that I can trust you. Well, what's not to trust? I can't keep the secret anymore. You were right when you suspected that I was acting like a different person. Well, I just didn't suspect you were, but I mean, it's understandable. I mean, they're coming home to this, you know, surprise party. No, party. no. It was a surprise. No, no, bus. listen I mean... to me. Listen to me, Buzz. No. I may look exactly like Reva Shane. I may talk like her, but I'm not her. Look, I, I you know, it's understandable that you feel lost. Um, no, I'm not lost. I, look, uh, Jesse, I, uh, you can take a break, okay? Yeah, no right. problem. Um, you know what? I think we should do, I think I should take you home, and then you take a rest. No, don't do that to me, because no. I'm not crazy. No, I, of course you're not crazy. I just need your help. I need to get out of here, out of this town, and you're the only one who can help me. Please say you'll help me. You, you want to leave town? I, I don't understand. What I'm going to tell you is going to sound a little weird, but it's the truth. I didn't recognize you at that party the other night because I've never met you. What? I, I faked like I was joking around with you, but I wasn't. You never... The real Reva is dead. What do you... What do you mean, the real Reva is dead? I'm... That's right. Um, but there's only one Reva, and honey, you're it. No. No, I'm not. I'm not her. I... Well, why don't we sit down? You know, that night, you said that there were holes in my, my story, that uh -huh. there were mistakes. Yeah. Well, it's because I was winging it. That surprise party thing really threw me, and I couldn't keep anything straight in my head. And there were just too many faces and too many people and it's just too much to learn too soon what exactly are you are you trying to say i said it i told you what reva is dead she went down in a plane crash and joshua couldn't bear life without her so he did something really drastic he made me way to say this. I'm a clone of Reba. I am a living and breathing clone.
It's me, Sean. Hi. Hi. I'm finally safe. Yes, you are. Thanks to you, Sean. I'm going home. Not just yet, you're not. You've got some healing to do. Yes. <laughs> it won't be long, though. The doctors say that you're in good shape. But hey, it doesn't take a genius to see that. You were supposed to leave as soon as we got to the mainland. Why did you stay with me? Why? A good captain never abandons his crew. I was a lousy sailor. <laughs> The worst. But you make a first-class landlubber. How can you say that? After all the trouble I caused you on the island, yeah. I was a real pain in the butt. You were the best thing that ever happened to that island. It won't be the same without you. How long was I out? How long have we been here? A while. No. You, you have got to get out of here. What if somebody uh, recognizes you? They'll, they'll arrest you. Don't worry about it. The police about... are looking for you. Go to the boat. Go back to the island. I'll go in just a minute. I wanted to be here when you woke up so that you wouldn't be alone. You know, when I get back, I'm going to do everything I can to clear your name, Sean. Will you stop worrying about me? You've got much more important things to do. You mean home? You're going to call him today, right? Yes. I can't wait to hear Joshua's voice. Looking for her, for Reva. Have you seen her? Thought she was with you. What's no, wrong? she's not. She took off. She she ran off on me. Took off from where, Josh? Cross Creek. I took her there because I thought we could we could talk, we could work some things through, and 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 then everything just exploded. What'd she do now? She didn't do anything. It was me. I blew it. How? Oh, well, we things were were going fine. We were we were uh, laughing about some things and talking about some things, and then we got uh, close. Close. Yes, we, we, um... Yeah, okay, I don't need details. A afterwards, I told her that I should not have let it happen, that it was a mistake. Well, that, that might hurt a girl. I, I didn't mean to be so blunt with her. Well, I'm sure you didn't, but... But what was I supposed to do? I, I had to tell her the way I felt. I couldn't lie about my feelings, right? I guess not. You should have seen her face, Cassie. She wasn't ready for that kind of honesty. She's, she, uh, on the outside, she, she looks so much like a grown woman, but on the inside, she's so young emotionally. Do you have any idea where she is? No. She could be anywhere. She could be doing anything right now. That's what I'm afraid of. How do you know uh, what I would do? If I were you, I'd uh, call Josh. No. If you were yeah. me, you'd be a scientific experiment or a scientific failure. It depends on how you look at it. Don't call Josh. No, no. Oh, why not? Because he doesn't care whether I live or die. Of course he can. No, you don't know how he feels about me, but I do, and I can't talk to him or Michael or Cassie because they're all in this. Look, honey, you've had a tough year. I mean, you know, all this stuff with Annie. Was, was, Have you heard a word I've said? Yeah. No, no, you haven't. Yeah. The only thing Annie had to do with any of this was that she killed Reva in that plane crash I told you about, and that's why they created me. That's why. Do you understand that? I, I'm trying to. I... Oh, good, because I was starting to think that you didn't have a brain. <sighs> so, uh, you're, um, uh... A clone. A clone. Do you know about that? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's been in the news. Yeah, I know. I so, um... When did you find out you were a clone? I overheard them talking, and so I confronted them, and I made them come clean with me. Uh -huh. From what I can understand, Joshua's heart was broken when Reva died. And then Michael came to him and said that he knew a way that he could fix it. 
Michael and Joshua. Yes, they've been trying to make everybody believe that, that the two of them were working on some kind of a project together at Lewis Oil. Well, guess what? I'm that project. I, I sort of noticed they become friends. That's what I'm trying to tell you. What? Michael. Michael supposedly came up with this. He invented this, this aging formula so that I would age quickly. I may look like I'm Reba's age, but I've only been around a couple of months. Look, I'm trying to hang in there with this, but this is sort of a stretch even for me. I know it sounds weird. You're going to have to talk to Michael because he's the only one that understands any of this. So, what you're saying to me now is, is you're, you're t taking some kind of medication. Yes. I guess the reason why they needed me to age so quickly was so that Josh didn't have to tell the kids that their mother was dead. I see. He wanted me for himself, too, but then he changed his mind, and that's why I have to get out of here. I have to get out of this town, but it's going to cost money, and I don't know how to drive. I don't have anyone to turn to. <laughs> No, I do. I do. I am seeing things much clearer, as a matter of fact. I don't know if you know this, but I've become psychic. Let's see what I've got here, huh? Uh, oh, yes, yeah, something's coming in now. Beth, Beth is going to need you now more than ever. Hard to believe that's possible, huh? No, 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 you're interrupting my flow. Beth is going to become more weak and needy and victimized than ever, which means you'll be spending your days helping her to breathe. I think that you're blowing this way out of proportion. What, her Susan Hayward act? My kissing her. Oh, well, thank you for reminding me. I had almost forgotten. Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that it happened. No, don't I be. I am. Don't be! I wish it had happened sooner. As a matter of fact, maybe it did happen sooner, and I just haven't heard about it, it yet. Because I certainly should have seen it coming. Don't you think? All your, oh, by the ways, oh, by the way, mm. should have been like a red light flashing in the back of my eyes, warning you're entering a toxic zone. For oh, God's sake. No, 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 for Beth's sake. Everything is for Beth's sake, right? Oh, by the way, Beth has to stay in the house just a couple of more nights. Why didn't I bail out then? Why didn't I know then it was time to get out of Dodge? Because you knew that I loved you. No. And I do. No, wrong. Wrong. Blind. Wrong. Totally wrong. I was... I was such a pushover for you. All you had to do was kiss me or touch me or do some other fabulous thing. And I was right back in the grinder. Grinder? It's like being in a grind? Most of the time, oh, yeah. On, that's not true. Philip, think about it. I've said adios to you so many times, I'm becoming fluent in Spanish. Oh, so you... you... You can't even remember any of the good times. No. My problem is, I'm having trouble forgetting. You shouldn't have done it, Josh. You shouldn't have made love to her. I know that. I mean, that's, that's a huge step. You weren't ready for it. I know it was a was. mistake. Why, I am... why didn't you think You're about this? You're not going to cut me a break on this, I'm are you? I'm not going to feel sorry for you. I don't want you to feel sorry for me. It was my fault. I'm the one that should have stopped it. But, Cassie, we were in Cross Creek, and she was wearing that... Wedding dress, and I couldn't help myself. I, I held her in my arms, and in that moment, I wanted so much to believe that that it would it would be the the same. The same, yes, yes. Maybe I shouldn't have had that expectation, but I wanted so much to believe to believe it would be the same, and it wasn't. Reva, my Reva, she had this way about her that I couldn't possibly teach this woman. Little things, the way we would intertwine our fingers together. Uh, silly things. That... Those things aren't silly. Those things are special, and that's what makes love real, Josh, but, you know. This is not her fault, Cassie. She looks so much like Reva. There is nothing about her physically that is not Reva, and that's what makes this almost impossible. Almost. The thing that, that, that made Reva, one of a kind, her essence, her, her soul. That's, that's the thing that I fell in love with, with Reva. And, and this woman just cannot... This is so hard to talk about. Yeah, I, I... I know. But she's here and she's alive and I have hurt her deeply. Yeah, fine. What are we gonna do now? I don't know. Do you have any idea where she no, is? Oh, she said she wanted to go out in the world, experience the world on her own. That's great. That, that's what I told her she can't do that. It couldn't possibly work that way. And she accused me uh, of wanting to keep her around me just because I was afraid people would find out about her. 
Is she right? Well, that's part of it, yes. We have to keep a lid on this. But but it's not me that I'm worried about, not the children. It's her. She's the one that's going to get the hurt, hurt the most in all of this. If people find out about her, they're going to... Her worst nightmare will be fulfilled. People will call her a freak, and that's not what she is. I just don't know where she might be right now. We're the only people she knows, uh, the, the people she met at the party, I suppose. But, but the idea that she's out there right now, alone, she could be anywhere doing anything. Okay. God knows what. I, I'm gonna go to Michael's. I'm gonna see if she's there. You stay here in case she comes back, okay? Okay. <sighs> okay, okay. All right, let's try, let's try to look at this rationally, okay? You're not gonna help me. No, did I say that? No, but I can hear it in no, your I, but, voice. You no, don't have to say it. Don't. I didn't. I want to help you, but I, we just have to make some sense out of this. You know, I make... already told you. Josh loves you. You two have always been two. It's always... Right, and that's what I don't understand. I am Reva. Right down to this stupid little freckle behind my right knee. I am a carbon copy, but... My life's not the same as hers. Her life is perfect, and mine is a disaster. No. I have the same body. I do, and, and, and it just wasn't enough for him because I, I tried everything. I did all the things that I read about in the books. I even made some stuff up. But, but it wasn't good enough. Tell me, please tell me, how you make a man happy? <laughs> I, uh, that, that's a trick question. I don't, uh, I don't know the answer to that one. What are you doing? Uh, it's not, I just, uh, I hate it when you feel bad. So do I. You're one of a kind, you know that. Well, Mr. Joshua Lewis doesn't maybe, seem to think so. Maybe you're just being a little over emotional no. about this. I mean, no, think no. about it. I have thought about it, Buzz. I, I have to go away. Where? I don't know. I don't know, but it's got to be someplace and it's going to cost money. And I just have to go someplace where I can be me, whoever that is. I'm going to miss the kids and I'm going to miss this family thing except for that loudmouth sister of mine that Cass Cassie yeah, by the Cassie Cassie, you and Cassie. But, but I have to go away I do we could go away we could go away together what? we the two of us we could go and we could make a love nest our own little place it would be so wonderful just I the got kids here I can't leave my kids Jenna I can't Jenna but well, Jenna's not here I mean, you snooze, you lose, right? You can just drop her a little line from the road and tell her that you're back with me. Uh, but, I, yeah, I'm not. Well, you married Reva first, didn't you? Yeah. I mean, you must have loved her first. It, does, it doesn't work that way, I don't... But we can do this. You can help me. You just have to help me. I you have to help me. I will have to help you. Oh, you will? Yeah. Thank you, thank yeah. you, thank you. You're gonna be You're okay. not gonna regret this. No, no, no. You won't, you won't. I promise you, this gonna is gonna be, be wonderful. Just... And I feel like a new woman. Okay, no one. Look, I tell you what, I'll, I'll uh, make us a cuppa. A cuppa. Uh, a tea. Cuppa. Tea. Tea. Okay. You like this with cream. Mm. Milk, right? Uh, sure. Right. Okay. All right, sit down. Okay. Relax. Jesse. Everything all right over there? Yeah. I want you to call this number. Ask for Josh Lewis. Tell him to get over here. Quick. Okay. Go. What's the story, Michael? Listen, Dinah, don't you think we overextended our stay here? Why is the bedroom door locked? Why don't you want anybody to be in there? Yeah, I'm gonna count to three, and I am gonna call the police. No! That's a very good idea. No! Dinah! No, no, you're not going in there! All right, now, what is all this? Michael, huh? Do you have a hobby we don't know about? Dinah, I don't lack for female companionship, all right? So why don't you leave my apartment now? I know this. It's Cassie's. You and Cassie? Fine, I'm gonna call the police. No, 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 Dinah, let's go! JL, Josh Lewis. Well, here we go. Now, Cassie's clothes and Josh's clothes. Cassie and Josh have been meeting here secretly, haven't they, Michael? That's none of your business. <sighs> listen, just, just listen. Beth is not a murderer. She's covering for her mother or for somebody else. And unfortunately, I don't want to do this, but I'm the one that has to prove it. 
No, Philip. The police have to prove it. Hardly she confessed. I can't really expect them to do much investigating, can I? Whatever. I don't... It doesn't matter to me. Do what you have to do, okay? Because I'm, I'm through with this. Because... With everything, okay? I'm done with the case. I'm out of Beth's hair. And in case you haven't noticed, I'm out of your life. Satisfied? Damn it. You know you know that's not what I want. Well, it certainly looks like it from that's here. Not that's not what I see. Damn it. Leave me alone! Listen to me! Just... What were you thinking? When you were kissing her... You were holding her in I your arms. You, what could I you have been thinking? I, she was upset. I was trying to comfort her. I... Hmm. I'm sorry. I have no good excuse. It was stupid, and I'm sorry. Well, there must be a lot of that going around then, because how stupid am I to have thought you were better than all the rest of the jerks that I knew? I thought you hung the moon. And when the chips are down, you're no better than every other dog. That's not true. Yes, it is true. That's not true. I'm not Mallet. I didn't sleep with her. But you wanted to. Admit it. You wanted to. So glad that you could join us, Cassie. When in doubt, a good reporter always goes to the source, and it seems that you're definitely the source here. Dinah, shut up, or I'm going to shut you up. Oh, can I quote you on that? You and Rob, huh? Mm. Two weasels. Wait, Cass. No, you know, using my ex to dig up dirt on me? What, are you trying to do a smear job here, Dinah? No, I think you're doing that all by yourself. And as far as using people goes, you're the master, don't you think? What the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about fighting dirty, Cassie. That's what you do. You stole my fiancé, and so you leave me no choice. Now I'm fighting dirty, and I'm using your ex to bring you down. Fair is fair. Fair? You call this fair? What did you think I was going to do? How stupid are you? Did you think I was just going to step aside without a battle and let you, of all people, take away the best thing that ever happened to me? I should have known something was up when you went running to heart about stupid little story about Rob working for you at the TV station. I like to see people gainfully employed. You got a problem with that? No, but I wonder what Hart's going to think, because I can't wait to tell him about this. Oh, no, come on. Now we know that's not going to happen. You're not going to go to Hart with this. Watch me. Well, why don't you stop and think for a minute? Because if you go to Hart with this, you're going to have to tell him why you were here, and you're going to have to tell him why your clothes are here along with Josh's. And I bet if I dig deep enough, I can find more evidence that you've been sleeping with Josh. No, no, that's far enough, all right? Michael, just stay out of this. I'm really interested in what she has to say. Go on, I please. followed you here before, you and Josh, so I know this is your little trysting place. Oh, you do? I also saw you hugging in the park across the street. Hugging! 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 And plus, I know that you and Reba were fighting in a bar over Josh. So you see, I found you out, and I found your little love nest. You found nothing, Dinah. Nothing. Really? Well, then, here we go. Why don't you tell me what's really going on? What are you involved in with Josh if it's not an affair? Tell me. Uh, why don't you go fix your face? I mean, it looks like you've been crying. And then we can start making our plans you to go bet. away. Yes, absolutely. Okay, where's the ladies' room? Uh, will you... what? Where I can oh, fix my face. You, you, it's right over there. Thank you. I'll be back. What's going on with Reba? She didn't even say hi to me. Don't ask. She's not herself today. Oh. Bust. Where have you been? What took you so long? I got long? here as quick as I could. Where is she? She's in, the, she's in the bathroom. I'm t you know, you and, you and Cassie told me about his nervous breakdown. I believe you. I'm sorry. But I mean, you know, she, she, she told me she's a clone. She thinks she's a clone. A clone like in a newspaper. You know, a clone. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, you get you check her to Cedars or something like that. I mean, I'm scared. Okay, she's all no, over the place. It's, it's, it's okay. I'll, I'll handle this. I hope and, so. And you can't believe anything she says when she's like this. Reba? Honey, it's come on. Come on home with me. No, I can't. How could you do this? I can not No, it's okay. Come on. No, no, it's all right. Come on. We'll talk about it when we get home. Thank you, Buzz. I can't even imagine what Joshua must be going through, but it won't be long now. I'm sure he was devastated, thinking that he lost you. Sean. What? We had some good times, didn't we? On the island? I know I did. 
It wasn't all bad. Oh, hell no. Trade winds blowing and mangoes growing and coconuts. The sweetest coconuts. I told you. It's my idea of paradise. And those mean, nasty fish with their poison stingers. <laughs> <laughs> well, you invaded their territory. <laughs> I believe I invaded your territory, too. What made you change your mind? You know the answer to that. You did. <laughs> There's something else, Reva Shane. You turned my safe, perfect little island world upside down. Only because you let me. I think you were waiting for somebody to do that. Not just somebody. I was waiting for you. Well, hey, when you get back to Springfield, I suggest you brush up on your boat making skills. Just in case. <laughs> no. When I get back to Springfield, I'm going to shop. I'm going to find the biggest steak I can and eat all of it. <laughs> and I'm going to spend endless, uninterrupted hours with my husband. Now, he's a lucky man. We both are. You know, you really put yourself out there for me. You put your life on the line. And I'll... Thank you for everything you've done. For teaching me about seashells and starfish and coral for watching over me at night for not laughing at me when I tried to build a house out of mango leaves <laughs> I was laughing on the inside but most of all thank you for telling me your secrets for trusting me enough to bear what was in your heart you saved my life, Sean. Again and again. No, Reva. It was you that saved me. This close to lying for you. Not telling anybody that you burned Beth's oh, muddy geez. shoes and the whole time you're kissing her. Don't judge me. I'll say anything I want to say. Hi, Joe. Okay, you know what? Come here. Sit down. What are you doing? We're not going to solve our problems right now, but I need your help. The most likely scenario is that the guy Lillian talked to is the one that bumped off Carl. So? So I need you to find him. You know his face. You help me look through the book and You're find insane. him. insane. You just don't get this, do you? I get that we have no future until we put this behind us. Well, get this. There is no we, and there is no future for us because it is over. That's not true. That's not, I don't care what you Yeah, well, you tell think. that no. to the guy that I asked out today. Yeah, Shh. a nice, normal guy. A doctor. Tall, taller than you. You and Beth can keep going down memory lane with those nice little prom mementos, and I'm gonna do what I should have done a long time ago. Get on with my life. And you wanna know something else, Mr. Philip Spaulding? Not really, no. Well, this is a pearl of wisdom you might enjoy. You know, you have to take it with a little bit of a grain of salt, but it's something you've heard before. It gets easier. What gets easier? Getting over heartache. It's been 12 hours, and it's getting easier, okay? Little by little, it is getting easier for me. As a matter of fact, I'm looking at you right now, and you know what I'm thinking? What did I ever see in this guy? You don't ring my chime anymore, buddy. Not even a tinkle. Get it? Yeah. I got it. That's good. I'm, I'm glad you're over it then. You know, so from now on, you would prefer we just keep it strictly business, then? Huh? What do you mean, strictly business? I want to hire you as a detective. Are you out of your mind? No, I'm dead serious. I want to hire you to find J.C. Clayton. Is that a problem for you? No, you know what? I have too much business. Yeah. Thanks anyway, I pass. No, you mean you're afraid, because then I could turn out to be right and that could be innocent. That's, I mean, at least have the guts to admit it. Is that what you really think? No. That this was... That I was trying to pin this on Beth because of jealousy or something personal? All I wanted was the truth! Well, we're never gonna find it unless we find him, are we? It's okay. If you don't feel like you can do it, I understand. No, forget you it. I'll take it. Problem. I'll take it!
I'll take it. My fee's $100 an hour. That's fine. You're worth it. I know! And you. Ratted me out to Dinah? Once slime, always slime, huh? Yeah, well, at least I'm not sleeping with my in-law. <gasps> that, that, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's priceless, Rob. Out of everything you've done to screw up my life, you're gonna try and stake out some kind of high ground? I'm just telling like it is, Cass. Well, you wouldn't know high ground if you tripped over it. You lived in the gutter your entire life. The gutter? Yes. What happened to you, Cass? I remember honesty was the best policy, right? And now what? You're sleeping with your brother-in-law? What is that? I told you she was a slut. Now maybe you'll believe Hey, why her. don't you back off, the Diana, hell right? I will, Michael. So start talking, Cassie. What's up with the clothes? Why are your clothes here? Are they not your clothes? Are those Josh's clothes? And what about all these pictures of Reva? I mean, you have pictures of her from childhood on up, like you were studying her. And what the hell is going on? I mean, are you trying to be like her so that you can snag her husband? If that's what it is, it's pretty sick. It makes me want to puke just thinking about it. Yeah. There are clothes. If you want to make something out of it, both of you, be my guest. You can bet your sweet life I'm going to make something out of it. Why didn't you tell her? Tell her? Why didn't you set her straight about all that, that garbage she was applying about? Implying because there's something life? called loyalty, Michael. Yeah, but... I asked you not to tell. To give up your dream on fame. Well, you know, I have to pay a price, too. Josh needs me. And he's family. And I never had a family before I met my sister. And I'm not going to run out on them when things get tough. I love my sister. And the Lewises have been good to me, and I owe them. And that's why, that's why I just handed Dinah a bomb that could blow my life to pieces and cost me the man I love. Don't want Stop. to fight with you anymore. Then I'll fight with myself because I don't want to be here anymore. Yes, I got that message loud and clear. Thank Where did you get my wallet? No, let me tell you something. When I first thought about living here in this house, I was so excited about that. Being here with you, being with the kids, feeling like I was loved, feeling like I belonged somewhere. But now that's all a lie. And I am sick of living in Reva's shadow because it's too hard. I want to be young. And I want to be free. Wait, don't, 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 please, don't leave. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't walk out that door right be now. Because I would miss you. <sighs> be, be, because I need you. It's, it's not about the kids. It's not the family. Me. Please, don't go. You know, when I made it to that island all those years ago, I thought I'd beaten it. I was a free man. Nobody was going to put me behind bars. But I was wrong to think that. No, why would you say that? Because I was already a prisoner to all that past hatred. I thought that the person that I'd lost was my wife, but now I realize that it was me. I'd lost myself. I'd cut myself off from so many feelings and emotions that that I was dead inside. I, we all... I, I was buried under, under all of that anger and resentment. But and... we all cut ourselves off from time to time. No. You don't. You... You live in the moment. You, all your senses are alive. You react to everything. You, you, you feel everything. You laugh, you cry, and then, and then you start laughing all over again. And something about that changed me. 
Watching you bounce back from everything, uh, your courage. You, you look danger right in the eye. You, you clench your fists. <laughs> you stand up to it. You shout it down. You dance with it. <laughs> you never surrender, and, and you never, ever hide. And when it comes to Joshua, you are a tigress. Well, I only want what's mine. <laughs> And that's what love should look like. That's what love should be like. Not this sham that I had. Mourning my wife's betrayal. That, that wasn't anything like love. That was just self-indulgence. But it was being around you that taught me that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I don't know where all this is coming from. Just, uh, I just wanted to let you know that I think that I'm finally ready to move on <laughs> to face all of this stuff. And it's because of you. I may have dragged you out of the ocean twice, but it was you that dragged me, kicking and screaming, right back into life again. And I will never forget that, Rima. I'll never forget you. You have to go. You have to get out of here. The more time you spend here, the more at risk you are. game if you're ever stranded on a desert island what would you bring <laughs> well i'd bring you i'd only need you Joshua Lewis. We've got to go now. Okay, I'm ready. Thanks for letting me say goodbye. Don't mention it. 